Hi, I'm Laura and welcome back to the Tarot Genie for this week's mini tarot lesson in the cards of the tarot. Today I'm going to discuss Major Arcana card number 20, the Judgment card. This is off-putting to some people, but it need not be. It actually can be a very positive card. But before I go right into the description of the card, I do want to provide a book recommendation where you'll find some information about the Judgment card. And this, for, this book is called Genius of the Tarot, A Guide to Divination with the Tarot. And it's by, what is his name? Vincent, I always forget his name. Vincent Petit. Petici, I believe it's an Italian name. He has a number of videos on YouTube that you can find, so you'll look him up. I will include his, his name and the title of the book in the show notes. But that's a useful book for the beginner. It's got a basic interpretation of each card. He also has some tarot spreads that he recommends you try working with, and he has some of his own particular points of view uh, using, he actually uses mind maps, which I think is great. Mind maps, uh, which I studied years ago. Tony Buzan was the developer of the mind map, but that is a book that I recommend as a good basic primer for learning the tarot. And then this week's song that I felt aligns very well with the judgment card is a song it's kind of dark, but I like the music to it, the melody. It's called Bring Me to Life by Evanescence, the group of the singer Evanes Evanescence. She has a lot of dark songs, but they're very stirring. And I thought the whole concept of Bring Me to Life epitomizes what is going on here in the Judgment card. Now let's take a look at some of the key symbols here. Well, we've got Archangel Gabriel who is, looks like he's tooting his horn. And he's got also this red cross. I don't know, it's interesting. That reminds me of the red cross. And for me, that's healing. You know, the red cross comes to help and aid people. So I think it was related to that. He's coming out of this billowy clouds, kind of these turbulent gray clouds. And he's got these broad red wings suggesting powerful energy. And he's got this yellow hair, in a way that reminds me of illumination, just being bright and bold. And you just see this, the sounds emanating from his horn, his uh, coin. And what always jumped out about to me about this card is that it's like the clarion call. It's a wake up call. If this appears in a reading, depending on what your question was, it can suggest that you know it's time to wake up and rise out of the box that you've put yourself in. Because just look at these individuals. We've got a man, a man, child, and a woman. So we get the, the sense of a family. They're also in the in the background as well. And then you've got these turbulent waters and they're kind of billowy clouds in the background. But these all appear to be coffins. But what's happening? These people are being, it's almost like being raised from the dead. So that's why the song Evanescent, Bring Me to Life, I felt just resonates so well, goes along so well with this image. And it's a young couple. These are not older people. And it's just, I just feel it's when this card comes up, it's saying, listen to spiritual guidance. Listen to the realm of the angels, if you believe in that. But I would say, especially you can see or interpret this angel as meaning spirit, the spiritual realm, depending on your particular religious orientation or spiritual preference, whatever you resonate with. Spirit could be your own spirit, but it's your higher self. It's you know above, it's you know overseeing these individuals. And it's just definitely, you can see the sounds coming out. So it's like they're hearing this call and they're opening and opening up their arms seeing they're like opening i welcome a change welcome a transformation welcome a revelation and what's interesting here too it reminds me of a reading i did for a colleague i think it was five years ago it was in late fall i think it might have been early winter i believe she retired in march of that year the following year and this because she was contemplating what she was going to do after retirement 
and also just her feelings about things. And this card came up and what I immediately felt, which is the ding that went off in my mind was, oh, this you know, retirement is going to give you an opportunity to you know, follow your passions, get out of your cubicle. I saw those coffins as representing, because we worked in cubicles, haven't been for the last since March because of teleworking the pandemic, but we worked in cubicles. And I definitely thought that for her, the time of retirement signified that she was now going to be able to do some things she had not been able to do and just rise up and kind of tap into her creativity definitely seem to be the case and she's doing photography now she's been retired ever since she did do a couple of or she did a consulting project with another agency back in the winter related to this COVID situation because our agency several of us did a major study and investigation into COVID actually now I'm thinking I'm, I am confusing that sorry it was a different thing but it was related it was an important study related to variety of trade issues sorry about that but anyway she worked on that but in the in the time she's been retired she's been exploring a variety of things and she's pursuing photography so she has been able to escape come out of rise out of the cubicle that can find her and so this is what i see as some major interpretations of the judgment card it's not saying judgment although it could you know again it always depends you know you have to interpret the card based on the question based on its position so if a person were asking a question about a particular or maybe trying situation or maybe something a situation in which they had not been ethical or forthright then it could suggest that judgment will be coming and that there's going to be a wake-up call and they, you know, they may be getting out of that uh, or in box, but uh, justice may, might be on the way. But it is, it may be saying, oh, it could also be suggesting they need to wake up and get and stop that activity. But overall, it's just important to look at, you know, the turbulence in the water, the images here of the coffin suggesting confinement the angel who so dominates angel gabriel who so dominates the image with just the wide wings suggesting power and that call it's almost like it's not a call to arms but i see it as the clarion call it's a wake up call wake up to your true essence to who you really are no matter what's been happening no matter what turbulence has occurred no matter how turbulent the waters and the sea is, it's time to wake up and rise to your personal occasion. That's what hits me so dramatically when this card comes up. And again, I see that, I think there's one tarot, tarot author who says, you know, these the, the cross represents east, west, north, and south. I don't know, this reminds me for me, literally the Red Cross and that organization being healing. And perhaps that's where it came from. I didn't have a chance to look up. That's where, if that's how the Red Cross originated or not, but that's what I see. It is a healing time. It's a time of, of coming out of a difficult or a dire situation. Now, if the card is reversed, I would venture to say that it is suggesting it is telling you that you are resisting making this change. You're resisting coming out of your confinement. You're resisting heeding your spiritual call. And that's not necessarily a good thing. Or it could be saying that there's a delay in this, um, in your time of opening up to your true essence of your true power. Because reversals can indicate delays, uh, weakened energy, the negative of the opposing interpretation, it all again depends on the question you ask and the lay, how the layout is of the cards, of the spread. So always remember that, but there are basic associations with each of the images, so it is good to learn them. And I just say that this is for me like the wake up call card and then follow, your, follow the call of spirit Follow the clarion call and come out of your box, come out of your confinement, come out of your dire situation. I hope this has been helpful for you. 
Next week, we are going to go over the final card of the Major Arcana, which is the World card. So that's an interesting one, as always, to look at. And so remember, until next time, illumine your mind, inspire your life with the tarot.